Hi everyone, the abdominal cavity is the largest cavity of the human body and inside this cavity is covered by a membrane known as the peritoneum. Uh, the peritoneum not only covers the inside of the abdominal cavity and forming the peritoneal cavity, but it also wraps or invest the viscera of the abdomen and also support and encourage the viscera inside the abdominal cavity and after covering the cavity inside by the peritoneum it is known as the peritoneal cavity. So here it is the abdomen. Before moving on the peritoneum I will talk about the nine imaginary planes or regions which are formed by four imaginary lines in the anterolateral abdominal wall. This is the xiphoid process and here it is the zipho sternum and these are two inguinal folds and here it is the cicatricial tissue or the cicatricial scar mark formed by the root of the umbilical cord or the fetal attachment of the umbilical cord known as the umbilicus or the navel umbilicus or navel the first imaginary plane which is running transversely or horizontally is the transpyloric plane between the g fistral joint and between the umbilicus this is the transpyloric plane passing through the ninth costal cartilage or a breadth distance from the g fistral joint or this plane is passing through midway between the supraesternal notch and the upper border of the pubic symphysis. So this is the transpyloric plane. Many organs are located at the transpyloric plane like the pylorus of the stomach, the fundus of the gallbladder, the right or the hepatic flexure of the colon and the ending of the spinal cord is also at the level of the transpyloric plane which is passing through the lower border of the L1 vertebra. So this plane is passing through the lower border of the L1 vertebra. The celiac trunk or the celiac artery supplying the blood to the foregut is also situated on the transpyloric plane and the superior mesenteric artery is also situated almost at the level of the transpyloric plane. The other horizontal or transfer plane which is also imaginary plane is passing through the two tubercles or the two tubercles of the iliac crest. This is the plane passing through the upper border of the L5 vertebra. So this is the L5 vertebra and the level of the navel or umbilicus is the 
junction between the L3 and L4 vertebra. This is the L3, this is the L4, so this is the L3, this is L2 and this is the L4. So the level of the navel is the, at the level of junction of L3 and L4 vertebrae. So the other plane which is passing through the two tubercles of the iliac crest known as the trans tubercle plane. This plane is used to count the intervertebral spaces in the lumbar region for the lumbar puncture. The sample of CSF is taken for some investigations or needle is inserted for the therapeutic uses through the junction of the lumbar vertebra. So this plane is also used to count the vertebrae of the lumbar region. So this is the trans tubular plane. Two planes are the vertical planes. Passing through the right and the left mid clavicular line and it is also passing through the mid inguinal point. A point between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. So two vertical planes are passing through the mid clavicular line. This is the mid clavicular line of the left and this is the mid clavicular line of the right. So abdominal wall is divided in the nine imaginary planes or regions to describe underlying viscera and position and relations of the abdominal or peritoneal organs and also the relations of the peritoneum. This plane and this plane, the right uppermost and the left uppermost are known as the right and left hypochondriac regions right and left. Hypochondriac regions or planes. The, this is the right column and this is the left vertical column and three are the transverse columns, the upper, the middle and the lower. So this is the right and here it is the left hypochondriac regions or planes. The middle right and the middle left are known as the right and the left lumbar planes are also known as the right and left lateral planes. The lowermost right and the left are also known as, are known as the right and left iliac planes. Are also known as right and left inguinal planes. The median column. This is the medial, median vertical column. It is also having three regions, the uppermost, the middle and the lowermost. The uppermost median region or plane is known as the epigastrium or the epigastriac region. So this is the epigastrium.
this middle most between the right and left lumbar or lateral and between the epigastrium and the lower most region of the median vertical column this is the umbilical region or also known as the gastrium the lower most plane or region below the umbilical is known as the hypogastrium so the anterolateral umbilical wall or anterolateral abdominal wall including the umbilical region is divided in nine imaginary planes or nine imaginary regions to describe the viscera of the peritoneum and relations of the peritoneum i will again repeat the right and the left hypochondriate the right and the left lumbar the right and the left iliac the epigastrium or epigastric region the umbilical and the hypogastric region so these are the nine imaginary planes of the abdominal wall